What is a youth, impetuous fire? What is a maid, ice and desire? Thou art thyself, though, not a Montague. What is Montague? It is no hand, no foot, no arm, no face nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose. By any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name. And for that name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. <laughs> uh, I take thee thy word. <gasps> oh, hi. Um, I guess you're here for that episode about names that I promised you, right? Huh. So what's in a name? <laughs> well, that was Juliet's question. And uh, what we learned in the last video is that in Noster, your name is your public key. And that's a 77-digit number. <laughs> that number is unique to you. Nobody else can have that number. And it is derived from another 77-digit number that's unique to you, and that, of course, is your private key. So, Noster gives you two names. A public name that you use to identify yourself to the whole network, and a private name, a private key, that allows you to sign your messages. But there's one other name that you have. Are you alone here? Oh, hardly. <laughs> I got all these cats. <laughs> is, is that what they're called? Cats? Yeah, and they've each got their own name. Cats, of course. What else would they be called? <laughs> cats! <laughs> you know they've each got three names? Yes. The naming of cats is a difficult matter. It's not just one of your holiday games. You may think at first I'm mad as a hatter when I tell you that each cat got three different names. See, they got the ordinary name, and then they got their fancy name. And that makes two names, doesn't it? Well, now it's got a third name. Can either of you two guess what that third name is? Come on. <laughs> Above and beyond, there's one name that's left over, and this is the name you never will guess. It's a name no human research can discover, but the cat itself knows, and never will confess, will you, Henry? <laughs> so there's your fancy name, and that, of course, is your public key. And then there's your secret name, and that, of course, is your private key. But then there's your ordinary name. Now, that's going to require just a little bit of discussion. You see, my given name is Robert Cecil Martin. My nickname is Bob. But I don't use either of those as my ordinary name on Noster because they are both too ordinary. As my friends in the UK all know, there are just too many Bob Martins out there. So my ordinary name on Noster is Uncle Bob Martin, because there's only one Uncle Bob Martin. But what is Uncle Bob Martin? I mean, that's not actually my name, is it? No, no, it's, it's more like my handle. You know, like on a CB radio. Good buddy. Uh, Breaker 1-9, this here's a rubber duck. You got a copy on me, Big Ben, come on. Uh, yeah, 10 4 pig pen for sure, for sure. By golly, it's clean clear to Flagtown. Come on. Yeah, it's a big 10 4 there, pig pen. Yeah, we definitely got the front door, good buddy. Mercy sakes alive, look. 
looks like we got us a convoy. Convoy. It was the dark of the moon on the 6th of June in a Kenworth pulling logs. Cab over Pete with a... So what we want is for people to see our handle when they're looking at our messages. And we want them to be able to use our handle when they're sending messages. And that means we need some place to register our handles, don't we? <laughs> now, just a cotton picking minute there, son. Are you trying to tell me that you want me to trust my name up there in some big server in the sky controlled by some billionaire? No siree, Bob, not me, no, uh, that is not what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? I mean, we don't want our names registered at some great thing in the sky. I mean, it might be controlled by a single entity. It might be, it might be something they could use to censor us or steal our identities. No, 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 that is not the Noster way. So instead of that, we just let you pick any old handle you want, and then you can type that handle into your client, and your client app will then send that handle out to your relays in a special event called a metadata event, and that metadata event is signed by your private key. Other clients are going to receive that metadata event and they will associate your handle with your public key. And then whenever a message comes in with your public key, why, that client's going to stamp your handle on it. Here, let me show you what I mean. This is more speech. One of the Noster clients happens to be one that I've been working on. And um, here, I'm going to select this event here. This was sent by me. <laughs> now, I'm receiving it as well because I listen to the relays. So that's Uncle Bob Martin. That's coming down. And if you look down here, you'll see, oh, yeah, there's my name, Uncle Bob Martin. Uh, and if you right-click on that, you can see, oh, there's my ID, right? 2 easy foxtrot 93 foxtrot something uh, And I don't show you the whole thing here because nobody wants to see the whole thing. Um, okay, now let's go to someone else. Uh, let's talk about this guy here, uh, Verberica. Uh, Derek knows him. <laughs> Derek is somebody I trust, and, and he knows uh, Verberica. Okay, well, here we got Verberica down here, you see. And I'm going to do a get info on him. And if I do a get info on him, you can see, okay, his name is Verberica. That's his handle. That's his handle. And here's his public key in, in hexadecimal, 7 Foxtrot Alpha 5, 6 Foxtrot 5, Delta 6, 9, 6. Well, you can see why you don't want to use that when you're referring to Verberica. So, okay, you kind of got the idea here, right? That's the, that's the um, handle that came down in the metadata event. Now, um, one little thing. Let's do something over here. Maybe I can find a... A message by somebody who doesn't have a metadata event yet. Kind of hard because I've kind of loaded everybody up that does have metadata events. But let's just see. See, we've gotten a lot of metadata events come through here, haven't we? Oh, you know what? Here's a guy. Oh, yeah. Look, look, look. Coinflip sent this message here. And uh, he's just referring to somebody by his uh, his pub key is public key but if i click on this i might just get lucky oh see that's some guy named memcito <laughs> but so what happened there was i clicked on that that public key and uh, more speech went out to the relays and said hey hey is there a metadata event for this guy and and the relay sent down the metadata event and and we re uh, rewrote him as memcito that's his handle <laughs> now, of course, if anybody can pick any handle they want, well, then they might pick your handle. And that might not be good. So um, what do we do about that? 
Honestly, not much. I mean, it's a free Noster. Anybody can choose any handle they like. And anyway, there's just not a reliable way for people to know if a handle is already in use. But so what? I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of Bob Martins out there. We already saw that. But my friends do not confuse me with any other Bob Martins that are out there. So most of the time, you're just going to know who someone is based on the context. I mean, if Jill replies to your message and you happen to know Jill, well, then it probably is your Jill that is replying to that message. And if you have any doubts, you can always check the public key. What's more, some clients, like More Speech, will add a suffix number to a handle if they detect that the handle's already been used by somebody else. And so if Jill2289 responds to your message, well, then it's probably not your Jill. And besides, there's another way to make sure that you know who you're talking to. <laughs> there's a fourth name, and it's a name that only you know. When you decide to trust someone or add them to your contacts, then you're allowed to give them a special pet name that will replace their handle. In more speech, you can add someone to your contacts by trusting them. And here, I'll show you this, how this works. Um, I've got a message highlighted. It's, it's a message sent by Elvis. And notice that Elvis's name is in parentheses. That means that I don't trust Elvis. He's not in my contacts. I'm seeing his message here because he was responding to me or he was responding to a message about me. Now, let's say that I decide to trust him. Okay, I'm going to trust Elvis. So I can click on him and say, trust this author. By doing that, I'm adding him to my contact list. And up pops a little dialogue which has the name Elvis in it. Now, Maybe I like that name, maybe I don't. Maybe I should say, uh, uh, not Elvis. Because <laughs> I don't think that's actually Elvis, frankly. Um, sorry about that, Elvis, but you're not Elvis. Uh, and I'm going to uh, click OK, and that should change him to not Elvis. Now, notice the parentheses are gone. He's now in my contact list. I now trust not Elvis. And his pet name is not Elvis, even though his handle is still Elvis. My private pet name for him is not Elvis. Several months ago, Jack Dorsey appeared on Noster. His handle was just Jack. Now, it turns out that somebody else already had the name Jack. So, more speech represented Jack as Jack 7734. At first, I didn't know who this was, and, and I actually didn't pay very much attention to it. But then I started seeing other people that I trusted refer to him as Jack Dorsey, and I started to suspect that maybe that's who it was. I watched this carefully for several days, and I noticed that more and more people, people that I trusted, were referring to Jack 7734 as Jack Dorsey. And so in the end, I guess I just had to trust that Jack 7734 was, in fact, Jack Dorsey. And so I gave Jack 7734 the pet name of Jack Dorsey. Anyway, that's how we handle names on Noster. There's no great server in the sky up there who's going to steal your identity or censor your stuff or suppress you or anything like that. You just use any old handle you want and you have to be careful about who you decide to trust. <laughs> and that's just good advice in life, let alone Noster. What is a you? Impetuous fire What is a maid Ice and desire The world wags on A rose will bloom It then will fade So 
dies a youth, so dies the fairest man.